Uh, hey, good morning. Uh, here we are. I just treated his ears now, his ear, his, his, the ear that's bothering him. Uh, he's relieved, but, and he was very, very good. Oh my gosh, he was very good. Um, if you can see these Q-tips that I brought, you see this gunk, this brown junk? I believe they would diagnose this as ear mites. Don't think that that means that he's got bugs in his ears. It doesn't. Uh, but he, typically this uh, brownish uh, discharge, uh, the junk that's in there. Now, you've got to understand that you can take this Q-tip and you can put it in the dog's ear and you can bury it all the way to here because the dog's ear canal goes straight down and then the ear drum goes in at a 45 degree angle. So there's no way you can damage any of his hearing mechanism by digging it, burying a Q-tip. Trust me, I've buried many a Q-tip in many a dog's and cat's ear. Um, so what I did was I dug around. These weren't the only two things. Uh, he let me pull it out. He, he knew that uh, it was gonna make him feel better. And then I have some of this stuff, it's for Bravo. But, uh, you know, my pendineered dogs, they uh, you know, get this issue from time to time. Uh, so what I did was, this is a very, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a cleaner. It's not a medication, it's a cleaner. And so I uh, cleaned out his ears, and then I squirted a good a heavy dose of this into the ear. And then what you do is you just kind of like rub the ear canal underneath his ear from the outside. You can hear it squishing around in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back at it uh, this, uh, when I come back tonight uh, this uh, this stuff will help it um, uh, loosen and uh, I believe that uh, he will feel better as the day wears on today you know he's gonna shake his head for a while uh, he was real good for me this morning we went outside and he went pee right away and came in and I mixed a little bit of wet food with his breakfast and he did uh, great uh, but to what we're seeing now is uh, yeah he's he was irritated with that but oh boy he was an angel while I was taking care of it see I think I'm gonna go back in there before I leave with the q-tips and see if I can pull some more junk out um, but yeah, you know, I mean, he he'll he'll uh, he'll fare until you guys get back. I would suggest uh, he's going to need some meds for to clear that up completely. I'm just making him comfortable until that happens. I don't have any of the medication, and actually, my old brain is confused as to which one we give him. I can't remember anymore. I've I've given for yeast and for mites and for just a general ear infection. So uh, he will need a diagnosis. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Don't worry about him. He's doing great. And of course, Kitty Baby doing great as well. So uh, have a blessed day. I'll upload this when I get home and then uh, I'll be back tonight and I'll work on those ears every time I come in and this way it'll arrest it a little bit until you guys can get him into the vet. So, all right. Have a blessed day. No worries. Bye-bye.